An explosive new expose by Chris Rufo reveals how teachers in Portland, Oregon, are preparing students now not to be productive citizens, but to be revolutionaries. Rufo writes, the political education programs in Portland area districts constitute a training ground for child soldiers. This is not hyperbole. Some of those active and violent anarchist groups in Portland are run by teenagers, and dozens of minors were arrested in last year's riots. Now, here's a glimpse of the violence that Portland's child soldiers wrought last summer. A warning, this is graphic. The person you saw kicking the victim in the head was 14. Joining me now, Chris Rufo, Manhattan Institute senior fellow, contributing editor at City Journal. Chris, um, even though Portland is about as far left as any major city can get, uh, why should every American be concerned across the country about the indoctrination going on in the schools there? Well, Portland area schools have adopted a new philosophy called the pedagogy of the oppressed, which was rig originally a Marxist theory uh, that came from Brazil as one of their key teaching frameworks. And what you're seeing is that students are being told that they need to achieve critical consciousness about their own oppression. Uh, and then education system needs to be reoriented towards achieving liberation, achieving revolution. Uh, and you see it in every facet of the schooling. And I think what's most important and most damning is that not only were many children arrested during those riots, but actually many Portland public school teachers were arrested. And through my reporting, I've shown that some of these teachers, despite being arrested for violent riots, are still employed by the district. Uh, they've doubled and tripled down uh, on revolutionary rhetoric, and that's exactly what they're pushing uh, to the youngest uh, people in our society. Yeah, and meanwhile, if you ate a hot dog near the Capitol on uh, January 6th, like, you could be in solitary confinement. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but, you know, you're, you're immediately suspect. All right, Chris, um, there's a program called TechSmart in Portland that's, I guess, supposed to help improve literacy for students in, in kindergarten through fifth grade. And I want to show video that you obtained of one of the coaches teaching these students. Justice fighters, you may have heard some things in the news about people protesting and injustices in our country. You've trained for this moment all year to fight for justice. Now is the time to show that you will fight for justice. Chris, what does this have to do with improving yeah. literacy? It doesn't, but what you've seen is that the bureaucracy has been totally ideologized and, and submerged in this ideology. And uh, keep in mind that this teacher is speaking to elementary school students, uh, telling them they need to become justice fighters, telling them they need to get out into the streets uh, and fight along with the protesters in Portland. And uh, this same teacher, according to witnesses who observed it, also engaged in essentially George Orwell's two-minute hate program. Uh, in this public school, uh, they allowed minority teachers to berate white teachers for 90 seconds uh, in a kind of display of public apology for your whiteness. Uh, these are the kind of things that are happening within the institutions. I have the documents. I have the videos. And if it's not in your school district now, uh, they're pushing to put it everywhere in the coming years. Yeah, Chris, this was a video you say was shown to third grade students at the Beaverton School District. Now, this is just outside of Portland. One of the most freeing things that white people can do or non-POC people, actually any human being on the planet could do right now is to just say, of course, I'm racist. What happens when I say, of course, I'm racist is what it does is it says, oh, this is not a personal or moral failing. This is not because I'm a bad person. This is not because I'm some evil, terrible being. This is because that is the structure of this society that I've been immersed in. These eight and nine-year-olds are being told that America is a racist country, and they're racist. Really quick, Chris, out of this. Yeah, I mean, I, I spoke with actually a woman from Iran who said that she grew up in Tehran, Iran, chanting death to America before school. And she told me that what's happening, the indoctrination of her child in Beaverton Public Schools, reminds her of what was happening back in Iran. Uh, they're sending up these red flares to warn us what's happening in the schools. It should terrify all Americans. Mm. And I hope that we can come together and push back. Well, none of these people should be employed as teachers, period. They should all lose their jobs, will they?
Chris, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.